In this lecture, we are going to develop uh, this fight with burger game in GameLab on Code.org. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to import all the sprites uh, in the animation workspace of this game lab. In order to get uh, the sprite of a burger, we can come on this Google and search for burger clip art. So when you will hit enter button, automatically these are some beautiful images you are going to come across. So I will be using uh, this one for now. Now we need to hit this image so as to open it in a bigger window. Okay, we need to copy this image, right click on this image and automatically this cascading menu is going to appear. Now you can uh, click on this copy image option for copying this image. Let's come back on that game lab platform and now with the help of this new animation tab we can uh, come on this animation library where we'll get to see this draw your own option. Let's uh, hit this draw your own, own option. So this is an empty frame which is going to get created automatically when you will hit that draw your own option. Now here we can paste that copied image by pressing Ctrl and V together. So this is a dialog box you are going to come across. You just have to hit this next button and automatically the image which you just copied from Google Images is going to get pasted over here like this. Right. Let's now rename this image to burger. Now I am going to add one more sprite uh, in this animation workspace. So for that I need to hit this new animation tab and let's select something from emojis. Uh, let's, uh, okay. let's go for this one. Fine. Now uh, I am going to rename this to monkey. Okay. So I'm done with adding both the required sprites in this animation workspace. Let's go back on that coding panel and define the code in this workspace for bringing both the sprites over here on this playground. So for doing that we can uh, make use of these two blocks which are available to us over here in this sprite section of toolbox. So I'm going to pick this up and put it over here in this workspace and similarly this one also I'm going to drop it just below this uh, first block. Now let's change the name of this variable uh, to target okay and I am replacing this one with target. Let's convert it into block based coding and from this drop down over here we need to select this burger animation okay so now i have saved this that burger sprite in this variable named target okay now in order to access uh, this burger sprite on this playground we need to come on this world area and add this function draw uh, to this workspace over here now we can add this draw sprites uh, block to this function draw in order to draw this sprite on this playground. Now when you will hit this run button this is what you will get to see. So the burger is visible the burger is visible to us over here but the size of this burger is uh, quite large right we need to scale it down. So for doing that we can come on this sprite section and make use of this sprite.scale block. Let's select it and put it right below this uh, target.set animation block and now we can replace this sprite over here with the name of the variable in which the burger sprite is saved. Let's scale it down to 0.25. Now when you will reset this game and run it again, this is what you'll get to see as an output. So this is uh, perfectly fine. This much size is perfectly fine for us. Okay. Now uh, let's reset this game. And now I'm going to define the code with which I can control the movement of the burger in all the directions. So the best way is to make use of 
the if loop which is which you can easily find in the control section of this toolbox so this is the one which I am going to use let's select it and put it over here so I would like you know when the user will hit the right direction key the burger should start moving in the right direction so you know as you can see uh, when I'm moving my cursor in the right direction what is happening only the value of x is changing the value of y is not getting affected All right and the value of x is continuously incrementing taking this as base let's define the code with which we can make the burger move in the right direction on pressing the right direction key so let's make use of this key down block i'm putting it right inside the if block so when the user will press the right direction key what should happen uh, i would like the value of target dot x should get incremented by five okay now why this plus sign i have used over here it's because uh, the when i am moving my cursor towards right side the value of x is increasing so that is the reason i have placed this plus sign over here similarly uh, now when you'll run this code and uh, press the right direction key you'll be able to see it moving in the right direction now the issue is uh, you know we are able to see these faint ghost images of this burger appearing on this playground how can we eliminate these images so the best way is to make use of this uh, uh, background color block you can define a suitable background for your uh, game and make sure that you uh, have defined this background right before this draw sprites block because the background the sprites needs to come on the background okay so that is the reason we need to define it before this draw sprites block now when you'll run this game and press the right direction key you will not be able to see those ghost images anymore right let's now reset this game and define the code uh, for the for making the burger move in the left direction so for that we can copy these two lines of code and we can paste it over here let's replace this right with left and you know when i am moving my cursor in the right in the left direction what is happening only the x value of x is getting affected and it is getting it is decreasing constantly right so that is the reason i need to replace this plus with a minus now when you'll run this game so uh, you'll be able to move this burger in both the directions like this okay now let's define the code for moving the burger upwards and downwards so let so for that we need to copy these lines of code and we can paste it right uh, at the bottom now let's replace this right with down and because you know when i when i'm moving my cursor in downward direction the value of y is constantly increasing so we just have to replace this x with y because now the value of y is going to get affected as the movement is taking place along the y axis right and similarly uh, for making it move upwards we can replace this left with up and here we need to replace this x with y rest everything is going to remain the same now when you'll run this game you will be able to move the burger in all the directions if you want to move it diagonally you have to press uh, both upward and right direction key together so this is how you can make it move diagonally okay so this code is working perfectly fine let's reset this game now okay so we are done with defining the required code for the burger now let's define the code for this monkey over here fine now you know i don't want only one monkey to get reflected over here i want a group of monkeys to get reflected uh, on this playground so how can we achieve that output 
that's what we are going to check out now so the best way is to come on this groups part and make use of this where uh, this first block which is where group equal to create group so this is going to help us in creating a group of sprites right so where group is equals to create group i have placed over here and after that in order to create copies of this sprite on this playground what we can do we can make use of this for loop which you can find easily in the control section of the toolbox you just have to select it and put it right below this where group block like this now inside this first of all i will be defining the code for accessing this monkey sprite over here on this playground so what we can do we can make use of the of this code which we have defined over here in this workspace for bringing that burger sprite over here on this playground okay so we just have to copy this whole thing okay and we can put it over here like this right now uh, i'm going to make use of this variable named sprite in order to create uh, the sprite of monkeys i want the monkeys to get created over here on this playground on different locations so how can we do that the best way is to make use of this random number block which you can easily find in this maths uh, section of toolbox so instead of passing a hard core value for these x and y things over here for we can pass a random value for both the things and now i am going to copy this thing and put it after this comma like this okay now uh, I let's define the coordinates over here a random number between 0 and 400 is going to get picked up for uh, the x part and similarly a random number is going to get picked up for this y part also uh, this for loop is going to run for four times and we are going to get four different sprites now the second thing that we have to do is we need to add all those sprites which this create sprite will create for us to a particular group okay now how can we do that see this is the variable that we have defined right before this for loop okay and it's a group variable which can hold multiple sprites at a time so we can make use of this variable and add all the sprites which this create sprite is going to create for us uh, inside this group variable so how can you how can we add all the sprites to this group variable we can make use of this group dot add sprite block we can put it over here like this let's now run this game and see what is the output we are going to get so we are able to see uh, four different dots getting reflected on this playground now where are these four dots coming from okay so they are coming from this for loop why we are not able to see this monkey sprite in place of these four dots because we haven't set the animation for this variable in which the sprites are getting saved so how can we do that you know now all the sprites are present in this variable named group okay now we can make use of this group dot set animation each block okay in order to set the animation for all the sprites this for loop is creating for us so for setting the sprite of the monkey for the sprites which are there in this group we can come on this drop down and select this monkey from here now when you'll run this game you will be able to see these monkeys getting reflected like this on this playground 
fine now the uh, size of this monkey these monkeys are pretty big in order to scale it down we can make use of this pride dot scale block okay we just have to put it right before uh, this group dot add sprite let's scale down the monkey sprite to 0.25 let's see what are we going to get as an output so this is what you're going to see is an output over here now now also it is quite big okay let's now uh, let's reduce it further so i am reducing it to 0.1 so this is what you're going to see on this playground now okay so it is perfectly fine the output is uh, coming perfectly fine so that's how you can reduce the size of all the sprites which you are saving inside this group variable now what is happening over here this for loop is creating for us uh, four sprites okay and this block over here is assigning a random position to all the sprites this for loop is creating then this block is scaling down the size of every block uh, all the, the sprites and finally all the sprites are getting added into this uh, collection kind of variable that is group finally uh, the animation we are setting the animation of these sprites which are there in this group named variable equal to monkey okay at present these monkeys are stationary i want to see them moving with a particular velocity so for doing that the best way is to assign some velocity to all these sprites over here along x axis as well as y axis so the way we scale them down using this sprite dot scale option in the same way we are going to assign them some velocity also along both the axis so i'm going to make use of this sprite dot velocity x block and i'm putting it over here similarly uh, let's select this one too and put it right below this sprite dot velocity x block now uh, let's assign a velocity to all the monkeys sprite i would like to assign a random velocity to all the sprites which are going to get created by this for loop so we can make use of this random number block let's put it over here and similarly for this velocity y also uh, let's make use of this random number block okay now uh, let's assign a velocity somewhere between minus 5 and 5 and here also i'm going to assign okay minus 5 and 5 now when you'll run this game you will be able to see all the monkeys moving here and there okay but after some time they will go disappear and we will not be able to see them further on this playground now i don't want this to happen i want all the monkeys to be there on this playground right so how can we achieve this thing the best way is to define the edges for this playground so how can we define the edges we guys can make use of this create we can make use of this create edge sprites option let's uh, put it over here okay so this is going to create for us uh, the edges for all the sprites now let's define a piece of code right at the bottom so that we can prevent the group sprites from leaving this playground over here let's convert it back into text based coding first and here i am going to make use of uh, the bounds of block which you can easily find over here in this group section of the toolbox so this is what i am going to make use of and uh, let's put it over here so when any sprite belonging to this uh, group named variable will um, touch the top edge of this playground it is going to bounce off similarly when similarly we can define 
this bounce off block for all the uh, three sides of the playground so this is going to be the bottom edge fine this is going to be the left edge and this is for the right edge okay so I'm done with defining the edges for uh, this playground over here so as you can see when these monkeys are touching these four sides of this playground over here they are coming back okay they are bouncing back so this is the block which you can make use of for achieving this kind of uh, output so that's how you can make this beautiful fight with burger game hope you guys enjoyed this lecture a lot thank you very much for watching this video have a great day god bless you all bye bye